This morning, uh, St. Matthew's and St. Gabe's uh, churches through St. Gabriel's Church through uh, the Way Home uh, Ministry and in coordination with uh, supportive housing communities, we're moving uh, five families into uh, permanent housing. Uh, most of these families have either been living in their cars or they have been living in temporary shelters going from one place to the other. Our goal is to take people off the street and give them a safe, secure home. And with guidance, uh, having ga uh, uh, guidance counselors uh, to rebuild their lives. That was something that was important to both Monsignor and Father Frank at St. Gabe's. So, uh, it's a holistic approach of giving them an environment in which to succeed and certainly uh, all these are families. The family unit in Charlotte's homeless situation had been somewhat ne neglected uh, and so our focus is really on families, keeping families together uh, and help them rebuild their lives. So. Most people have a vision in their head that homeless people are the people on the street with the sign, I will work for food or that they're crack addicts or prostitutes. For the families we serve, they're none of that. They're families who want to keep their families together. They're living in thrift motels. They're living with other family and friends. They're living in rooms in the inn. Um, and some, a family that's moving in today, actually lived on the street. It's um, a tremendous impact. It's a, a way to start to live again and, um, and have a stable home, have a stable place to send their children to school from. Um, just all those impacts. Um, for the city of Charlotte, these are um, folks that wouldn't have to utilize um, other systems that taxpayers may be paying for. Please come in. Come, in. come and look. Oh, wow. Welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm still getting some kitchen stuff put away for you. Hello. <laughs> now, you know, we have a place, so. It's, it's stable, so, you know, one of the most things we don't have to worry about, so get back to normal, yeah. What's that mean to you, getting back to normal? Um, coming home, you know, eating dinner, just, he could play outside, yeah, so it's nice. It's important to me, and pro obviously probably the church, that, uh, to, to get them in, in their own home and so, so they aren't in shelters, so they aren't in cramped spaces, so they can, can have a family life and, and feel, you know, at home and in, at peace and have their own space. I just can't imagine what it's like, you know, for them not having that. These moms and their kids are going to be off the street and, and being able to have a future and feel confident about themselves. And, and I think it's such an easy thing to do that it, and we have like 80 volunteers that do this from both churches. Oh, I get joy out of it, you know. I'm going to start crying because I'm an emotional person, but we say a prayer at the end for all the families when they're coming in. and You just know that they're going to have a home and, and ha you know, be able to create a home atmosphere because they don't have that right now. What's that feel like? Oh, it feels wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, wow! Yes! Come on in! Ooh! Oh, we got dinner in the refrigerator. God is good all the time. What's your name? I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Well, Thank you, Mark. Well, Thank y'all. Let us build a house where love can dwell And all can safely live A place where saints and children tell Our hearts learn to fall